way either way to record it because she knows what she's doing. She's just pushing the envelope with what she's doing. Yeah, absolutely. She is. And she's doing it on purpose. Yes, she's intentionally doing it. I talked to her on the phone like maybe three or four months ago or something like that. And she was, she was wild. I left Florida because of my bad neighbors. It's no secret that it's been a complete and total nightmare with John and Lynette living next to us. Yeah, John the Crook and Eli the Net, Lynette. And uh, they broke in civil protection orders again and again and again. Not only with distance, but also posting online. And it goes on and on and on. And as such, I had to come back home to Ohio particularly to file more court documents in Ohio because Ohio has jurisdiction over everything that they've been doing, even though we're in court with them in Florida as well. Lynette has intentionally, yet again, broken the civil protection order. Look at this, here's the peacocks. We're gonna take a peek at them. We're also gonna take a peek at what Lynette did as soon as she knew I was out of Florida and how'd she know because we had court in Florida and particularly there was a continuance issued why because Lynette went on for two hours whining and complaining and then my lawyer told the judge I had to be in Ohio to file lawsuit information against Lynette as soon as I was gone she broke the protection order check this out right here I didn't hear you. I don't know if she knows what my car looks like Do you have anything? Yes, ma'am. Us that can go in here? Yes, ma'am. No rush. No rush. It wasn't just filmed by George. And did you notice? Lynette literally walks past George's vehicle. Now remember, we're in a town of 100 people. Everybody knows what vehicles everybody drives. She parks next to George's vehicle. She looks at George in the camera and goes on with life like nothing ever happened when she knows she has a 500 foot restriction. 500 feet. Doesn't matter if it's the post office. Doesn't matter if it's town hall. Doesn't matter if it's the courthouse. Doesn't matter if it's the sheriff's station. 500 feet. 500 feet every public institution now before you've heard me say well the sheriff's office is actually safe it is not we've done further follow-up the sheriff in levy county are giving inaccurate information it is not safe she cannot be he cannot be anywhere near us that's one of the reasons why i'm here in ohio i'm actually filing contempt of court we're going to go after them criminally and financially for continuing to break these restraining orders. But there was another person there actually filming too. I'm gonna show you that angle now next. Do you have anything? Yes, ma'am. I set to go in here. Yes, ma'am. No rush. No rush. intentionally pushing the boundaries out of intimidation that's what it is it's out of intimidation saying yeah i know there's a civil protection order oh, i know levy county sheriff won't do anything until it's fixed in the federal registry you're going jeremy what's the deal with the federal registry well when ohio inputted it into the federal registry all it says is no contact order so the state attorney said the only thing that they would actually here we go let's feed the peacocks State attorney said the only thing that they would actually enforce is the information in the federal registry, which is again, another reason why I'm here in Ohio. I'm trying to get the information fixed in the federal registry, which has all the distances, all the information. As a matter of fact, you're gonna hear a conversation with the deputy to which the deputy even shares with George, as soon as you get this fixed in the federal registry, we'll go back and arrest John Crook and Lynette for continuing to break the civil protection order. So as soon as we get it fixed, they'll go back because they were breaking it already and arrest them. Check this out. Hello. Hello, this is Deputy Williams. Lady Kai's calling. I have a spot that we'll get to for you. 
Um, I was calling to file a report so that you guys can add it to the file um, with the CPO violation of Lynette Preston. I'm the petitioner. <clears throat> Lynette Preston, you said? Yes, sir. Okay, give me one second. Let's see what I can pull up here. Is it, is it out of this county? No, it's out of a... It's, so my understanding is this, the protection order, the civil protection order was issued out of a different county, but it should be in the uh, federal um, register. Okay. Sorry, my computer's being slow. What's so you, you, what, you knew this person in Ohio and they moved down here as well, or how'd that work? Or did they follow you? They were, they crossed state lines by um, contacting our Ohio mayor and we were able to get the civil protection order because both her and her significant other doxed our personal information online, mm -hmm. our Ohio address online. Okay. And then also stalked us at our property in Florida. Okay. Preston. Lynette Preston. Let's see what we get. Um, oh, okay. This is like the YouTube stuff, right? Correct. Okay, gotcha. All right. So I know what's going on now. All right. No worries. Um, let me pull her up here. Michelle Lynette. It's Lynette Michelle Lacey Preston, right? Or something crazy like that? Yeah, I think her full name is Lynette Michelle Lacey Alexis Preston. Oh, yeah, I see that here, okay. She has a so, lot of different names, different aliases. So if I, if, um, it's been a little while since I've, since I've spent time with this case. Um, Lynette is the one that has been terrorizing the Mr. Hales, is that it? She's, yes, she is the okay. one that, that has been found to stalk, harass, um, dox our personal information, gotcha. um, both so her. You're, you're, you're with Mr. I mean, you're on Mr. Hale's side of this whole thing though, right? I'm on the CPO as well. Cause I'm his significant other. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Let me just write this down here. Hang on. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm down here in English, so I'm, I'm, I was like, why did they, why'd they put me? Because that's actually um, uh, Chiefland Zone, so I'm not super familiar with it, but I know a little bit just because of the YouTubes and stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, da, 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 let's see. There he is, Mr. Hales. Lynette. Okay, so what do you say? Have you, I guess, from, from what they said, is she, uh, you were at the post office here in English or in Otter Creek? In Otter Creek. Okay. So you were in Otter Creek at the so, post office. Correct. So I was by. I was I was at the post office with my employee Deanna and then I had another employee, Brian, and then a volunteer Kevin with me. So I have three witnesses. I parked my car um in a spot where my trunk was open. My employee parked her vehicle in a spot where her trunk was open. Lynette knows what my vehicle looks like. She knows what Deanna's vehicle looks like. She had to have driven past my vehicle and she parked in a handicapped spot. Um, and then instead of leaving, she proceeded to exit her vehicle. She looked at the billboard that's in the parking lot and then proceeded to come into the building knowing that I was in the building, knowing that she cannot be within 500 feet of myself or Mr. Hills. Let's check the coop while we're here in Florida. Court is one of the reasons and meeting with a lawyer is one of the reasons, but we can check up on all the birds as well. Okay, our water level is right here. This is a heating cord that goes in there. Now, it hasn't been cold enough yet, although, look at those gray skies. It hasn't been cold enough yet to use it, and there's a heating lamp in there. Once Christian knows, hey, it's too cold, they need a heating lamp, they got plenty of food as well, Christian knows what to do, and we know what to do in regards to what's going on with our neighbors as well. Again, check this out. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Do you have the the folks that were with you? Do you have their information? Yes. Like phone numbers or anything like that? Yes. Okay, cool, great. So, she, I, she's getting ballsier with this uh, CPO, and she does it for intimidation, and she does it for taunting. Oh, I got a lot of stuff here for when that press. Yeah, we were also <laughs> just in court with her yesterday. Okay, let me read the... what the I'm reading what the state attorney emailed us about for the, what we should do for that CPO out of Ohio. Okay. And one second, let me see. I also have um, a video recording of her out in the parking lot and then coming inside and then you could see where her vehicle is parked and you could see where my vehicle is parked through the shade and then the volunteer also took a video clip where you can see myself inside the post office and you can see her uh, coming into the post office. Again, intentionally violating the civil protection order. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let me get. Uh, you said you had two witnesses with you. Three. Three. Sorry. Sorry. You said one was an employee. What was their name? Two were employees, and one was a volunteer. Okay, what are the employees' names? First name is Deanna. La Contempt of court has been officially filed in Ohio. Now, there's also going to be filings in Florida. This is kind of an unprecedented issue between Ohio and Florida. You know, listen, most, most people don't get stalked by YouTube fans who, who then go mentally unstable on not only them, but an entire town. And so this is an issue that uh, most individuals have yet to ever experience, particularly the state of Ohio and the state of Florida. But there are going to be issues resolved in both states. You can, you can rest assured of that. Now, what the end result is going to be, I, I don't know. And at this point, I'm not even sure judges know. Now, I know what I want it to be. I want it to be John Crook and Lynette behind bars. That protects the child, that protects the people, the residents of Otter Creek, and all of the animals in their possession that are being neglected and abused on a daily basis. This occurred at the post office around 3.35 today. So you know, she, did she talk to you or anything like that? Or she just, she parked the vehicle and then walked inside the post office? She parked the vehicle, looked at the billboard, came into the post office, saw me recording her, and mm -hmm. then checked her PO box and then left. Okay. There was another there was another resident outside in the parking lot. I don't know if he would be a credible witness, but she was speaking to him. Oh, so she was talking to somebody? Yes. Okay. Is it a man or a woman? It was a male. Yeah, a white guy or a black guy? His name is Dan Shannon. Oh, okay, you know him. Okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> who who is Dan Shannon around there? Is he he lives right on the corner. He lives at the end of our street, um, like on the corner of 24 and North Otter Creek Drive. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right, I think I got everything I need here. Um, so from what our state attorney said, I don't know, have, have you talked with, um, uh, oh gosh, lieutenant or anything like that about, about any of this? Since I am home, there's quite a few things we need to check up on. For example, Ramsey's, the one, the only, the original. Now, one of Christian's jobs when he comes to check up on the property two times a week, obviously caring for the animals, but also starting up Ramsey's. And here we go. Okay, 
Last time he, <laughs> whoa, last time he checked in, he said that Ramsey's did not start. So that's a good sign right there. Ramsey's is starting. All right, let's check up on some other things as well. Okay, we got Ramsey's starting. That's good. It is a diesel, so maybe he didn't know. You gotta, you gotta press the button just a little bit longer until that thing actually starts up the engine and revs it up. George and I never did get through sorting all of the tools before we left for Otter Creek. We did get the outline of the garage all set up. Oh man, I love that. And I wish I had this outline and this garage set up in Otter Creek. But you know what? It's not that bad of a thing that I don't yet. Sometimes I just need to learn to relax. How many garages have a humidity? That is for this right here. Take humidity out. All right. Let's check up on the rest of the property here. Now, I'm gonna show you more of the conversation and interaction between George and the deputy. But, we gotta figure out, is everything good here? Ooh, cotton candy bubble gum. It's gonna be interesting to see how George and I left this place. Jeeves is still doing good. Looks like we left some leaves from the fall. All right, let's go in here. Oh, okay. Looks like I left my hats there, some future projects, uh, some gaudy, some gaudy Crocs. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. This is our internet nest system. Uh, this is a tall tale sign that I was laying here. I always put pillows under my legs. So that's my head, my legs. Yeah, I never put that back. And one candy left, okay. I see where that's going. Let's see what else we did. I'm wearing my eye hood right now. Looks like George left her brand new eye hood here, not thinking she would need it in Florida. Okay. Yeah, kitchen's not too bad. That's where my apples go every morning. Oh, we left dirty dishes. Dirty dishes is never good. I mean, you can tell, you can tell we live we live in here and we kind of just picked up and went. These are items that still need to go on display. Remember that? <laughs> it has not gone up on display yet. But eventually, eventually it'll, it'll make its way up there. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, I'm liking it. Ooh, I think I may be hanging out here later. Oh, maybe there, maybe over there. Nope, right here. I'll be hanging out right there. And then if I get lonely, if I get lonely, all I have to do is turn around and take a little peek right there. Oh, look at that giant ring. And her fingers swell now. So that's, uh, everybody always asks, why is she wearing a ring? Because her fingers are so swollen from everything going on with her body that we're just waiting till her body regulates. Oh man, remember those from uh, purchasing Five below, well, I bought two of those beforehand. Oh my goodness, what a mess. These are all collectible toys that need to be shelved and displayed, and I've yet to get there. As a matter of fact, we threw sheets over all these collectible toys so they don't get bleached by the sun while we're away. And there's the bird aviary up there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. This is where we typically go live from. And, oh, you know what? If I get lonely, she's everywhere. Literally everywhere. Apparently Alexa is listening to us right now. Ooh, gold, silver, I like that. All right, let's go see what that rest of the house looks like right now. This is um, empty tote. Could use that in Florida. Boglins, Boglins? You can never have enough Boglins, okay. Or California raisins. All right, let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. Man, I hope, I hope we flush the toilet. But I'm honestly, I'm honestly, uh, I know that we try and conserve water. Oh, there's the Elvis room. I know we try and conserve water. So there's a lot of times we actually don't. There's the one, two, three, multiple fireplace room. We never use these rooms. 
but we walk this hall a lot and you gotta love that hallway right there. Okay, the nautical room in here. Looks like we got more decorations that we haven't put up yet. Definitely from storage units. Did we flush the toilet? Let's check. Let's check, did we flush the toilet? Hey, hey guys, <laughs> hi, hi. Do not use out of order. We have not flushed this one. This one has been leaking, and since we have a cistern, uh, having a cistern is, well, we lose a lot of water if it's leaking. I haven't fixed it yet. All right, let's see. Did we flush the toilet over here? This is the one where George and I really, really, uh, oh, 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 that ain't me. That ain't me. You know that ain't me. But, uh, man, this is the view right here. Oh, man, fall time. That's the view. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to. There we go. Okay. Let's see what upstairs looks like. It might be a mess. You know what? It probably is a mess. Let's go up these giant maple stairs. Okay. There's my pajamas, my lounge pants, my garbage pail kid shirts. Okay. Looks like we're good here. Let's take a peek over here. How are we doing over here? Did we flush these toilets? Um, hmm. Did we? Yes. All right, that's good news. All right, let's look in here. George likes this one for, for some reason. I think that's flushed. I think we're doing good there. I actually think we're doing really good. Don't get dizzy on me now. Okay, because we're almost to the next part of the sheriff, the deputy with George. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. I'll take it. That's not bad at all. When we came back to Florida for the season, we've uh. talked to... Um, We've talked to a couple deputies because this isn't the first time she's violated the CPO since we've been back in Florida for the season. Right. And from what I was told was that we have to make a report every time either Lynette Preston or John Cook violate the CPO. We have to call, file a report, and then it gets sent to the state attorney. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. So that's what I was going to mention is we, we have to filter everything through the state attorney's office. Uh, so I'm going to pull a case number and put all the facts in the case. Okay. Um, but it's gen it's generally probably the way it looks right now. As I got this email from the state attorney on the ninth of this month, and it looks like they're they're just holding up the. the uh, it's a lot of legal mumbo mumbo jumbo, but in, in the end, it says that. Levy County won't honor, like we won't make an arrest based off of what they have right now for the, for the, um, paperwork that they have right now. Mm -hmm. But just because we can't make an arrest doesn't mean the state attorney can't log it. So that way, if something does changes and our legal team's able to come up with something different, mm -hmm. then we can pursue charges on that. It's, it's a good way either way to, to record it because she knows what she's doing. She's just pushing the envelope with what she's doing. Yeah, absolutely. She is. And she's doing it on purpose. Yes. She's intentionally I, I doing it. I thought she on the phone, like maybe three or four months ago or something like that and she was she was wild so um you have a pen handy i'll give you our case number here so that way you can have it yeah um i'm ready whenever you are can i please Now, did you want a copy of the recordings that I have on my phone and Kevin's phone? Yeah, I'll give you my email. If you notice, I, do, you have a, do you have a way to email them to me? Yes, I, I believe okay, be the clips are short enough. They should be short enough to email them to you, but if they're not, I can put them on a thumb drive for you, like a zip drive. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, let's let's try to try to email. I'll, you you want to take my email address down? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. And I think that you're already. You, have you filed reports with us in the past? Um. Let me just double check that you're in the system. Yeah, I think, I think you're in our system. But let me double check. All righty, got you all set up in there. And um, when when I get those uh, videos emailed, 
I'll attach them to the file as well, so that way it's all 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 attached. Okay, and if for some reason I can't get them to uh, through because the file yeah. is too big, what do you what? what um, you can always go. It, it's tough for me to for me personally. I'd have to find somebody to go out there and, and get the thumb drive from you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think who's available right now. Let me look. <clears throat> now um yeah just just try to email if we, if we can't then we'll just figure out what to do after that <laughs> okay 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 thank you all right, Mr. Yeah, Mr. all right bye he said just email him if i can't get it through